Oh, good morning, everybody. Uh, we're here at um, MCT Suspension. Um, came here to uh, see if we can do some magic to the uh, suspension on Frankie. Uh, I've had it recommended by everybody at my local um, IAM group. Uh, some people who have uh, Z1000s as well, and all sorts of other bikes. People say, you know, as soon as I buy a bike, the first thing I do is I take it to MCT and have Darren do his magic on the bike. And I've been waiting for this since about April, May, when I phoned him up, and he's been busy until now, the end of August. So the guy's very popular, uh, very well recommended. So let's see what he can do for us. Maximum preload. Now you should have the right spring rate and better adjustment. How do you find the seat height on the bike? It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Because if you, with the bolts, you can see that movement there. Mm -hmm. If I tighten it up under load, then the seat height will be about five to seven mil lower. Lower? Yeah. So if you want okay. the seat slightly lower, I can do it lower, or I can leave it hanging, which will give it slightly more ride weight. Well, lower, I prefer lower. Yep. Come on. I've never struggled with it, but I'd rather lower than higher. <laughs> well, we are finished. We've done a full setup of the suspension. And look at this. Red shock springs. F uh, put an operated um, shock springs to cook with my fat ass. So we've gone from a 93 spring to a 105 I think and now instead of being sort of 41 clicks in for my static sag and 24 clicks in on the preload adjuster which means that when the Ilford stick goes on the back I can adjust it a little bit more for her. Uh, thorough, thorough setup and advice from Darren here at uh, MCT. Checked everything, my weight, Ufford Stig's weight, whether the bike was on full tank or empty tank, what sort of riding I do. Road only, sort of luggage I carry. Give you advice on the tire pressures as well. So overall, very very happy and impressed, and you know, great service. Shame it's taken so long. The guy's got a huge waiting list uh, because he's uh, got a great reputation for setting this up. very happy I feel money well spent to make sure everything is uh, tickety boo I'll we'll take some pictures here it's quite pretty with the wheat fields so yeah all in all set up shock out spring change shock in and all the base adjustments for the uh, for the forks at the front etc that was all free but I did pay 270 pounds for these stickers which are really high quality so highly recommended I like to see the fields like this where all the uh, harvesters are getting moved in fact I went on for my when I went for my test ride I had to uh, stop and reverse and let a big combine through lots of kids out on horses as well lovely
but I think it's something that a lot of people overlook in terms of uh, setting up their bike or buy a bike and you know the first thing they do is uh, stick a loud can on it and do like a power commander and that kind of stuff I'm of the opinion that uh, tires first brakes and suspension second there's absolutely nothing wrong with the brakes on this just the, the old suspension needs setting up always good to uh, have uh, vision forward and uh, avoid conflict with those big lorries I mean I could have taken him but you know I'm a nice guy so as I was saying suspension is such an important part of uh, the motorcycle performance and a lot of people ignore training as well so I've chosen to the only things I've done really to this bike performance wise change the tyres improve the rider and now get the suspension set up properly for the type of riding that I do with my daughter and stuff okay that was it I didn't want to kind of get in the way too much of the uh, technician Darren at MCT so I just did a little bit of filming in there uh, one more thing that I discussed with uh, Darren there on doing the setup he said um, he recommended that I not run the Kawasaki recommended pressure on the rear tyre because Kawasaki recommend uh, 42 on the rear 36 on the front and he said really those should be the hot pressures so he recommended that when I'm doing my cold pressure setup that I do 36 on the rear if I'm by myself, 39 if I'm with a passenger and still 36 on the front so I'm gonna tr give that a try he actually did um, he did adjust it there on the workshop so I'm running with uh, that kind of lower pressure on the rear now you know, honest to say, I can't really tell much difference. I am, um, as you know, I am a noob. So, I tend to think if anything's not feeling right with the bike, I tend to feel that there's something I'm doing wrong. <laughs> um, and I'm not expert enough in field, etc. To, to tell you right now, I can definitely feel a difference. It feels well set up and when I was doing a little bit of test riding on the little country road there it was uh, it was planted it was stable it was doing all the things that you would expect it to do what I'm really expecting that's going to be different like I said is when I have um, when I have the daughter on the back with her extra weight which is about 70 kilograms fully gets it up Uh, then I'll be able to add a little bit more preload to correct the, the right height to bring it back level because before to have the, the, the sag correct for me I had to put so much preload on the old spring that there wasn't any adjustment there I definitely felt whenever she sat on the back that it affected the, uh, it affected the handling so now when she sits on the back next time I'll uh, I'll stick some more preload in and hopefully that will sort it out hero 
now let's go home it's gonna be a bit of uh, a boring dual carriageway now I'm afraid so uh, I'll say goodbye now thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye more machinery getting moved <laughs>